Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech, and you won't believe what happened. Well, you might, because you might have already seen the news. The new version came to stable. I don't know how stable I would call it, but it's here. Look at that. This ship looks totally different. I love the new the new uh, thrusters. That's cool. I'm not so thrilled about the purple. See, this is what I was talking about before when I said I didn't want to go to dev and have all my stuff be purple. But you know what? I'll live with it. Because I am pretty excited about it. So now you guys get to see what all the fuss is about. And I gotta hop out. So I'm actually... Okay, that's the wrong button. This is the right button. Um, they, they really did some cool stuff. We're still traveling at 100 meters per second, by the way, uh, toward the moon. I haven't actually done anything <laughs> I just kind of popped out and looked around and went well okay I knew the update was coming so I was expecting this but this is cool look at the timer holy cow that is one industrial timer this is cool by the way I did also notice at uh, let's take a look quick look around at some of the blocks because this is fun these are the new button panels I like that that just looks so industrial or military or something. And the new uh, the new air lock doors, they look nice too. Uh, but here, you got to see this. Um, this has nothing to do with the update. Actually, I'm not even sure this is going to happen the same way. It, wow, look at the model on that. Holy. Look at that. Oh, look, if I just rotate it just a tiny bit. Look at that. This is crazy. Oh, that is gorgeous I swear I could buy one of those at Home Depot <laughs> I want to read all the fine print that's so neat anyway uh, so I'm just gushing over all this so uh, okay it looks like Igor is gonna do his job but look at this now this these long nanites here this has to do with traveling at 100 meters per second and walking around the ship but uh, this is working fine apparently there's some new physics and improve and other improvements in here but yeah, look at that. Look at that. It looks so gorgeous. I do like these new models. I I, I don't know. They they may not they may do the opposite of grow on me. <laughs> I don't know. I think they probably wow, look at that. This just looks like I don't know. This whole ship just has this feel of like oil spilled on things. I don't know. Somehow that's cool. I do like it. Yeah, I don't like the purple, but that's okay. We'll survive. This is nice. I love the new flight seat. That's that's very cool. And just looking around. Man, look at that. Oh, <laughs> there's like grunge on things. It, it almost looks like they took the old models, slapped on some armor blocks, and then, and then rubbed some grease on them. <laughs> you know? Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to look at... I know that there's some new features in some of these things. Um, oh, that's right. The new fonts. Check this out. Red, green, blue. Are they, these look like colors, not fonts. That's interesting. Hang on. Um, let's go find something we don't care as much about. Like, uh, like this one right here. Let's change to a different font and see what happens. Um, we can do, so white is literally just white, red, these are just colors, why, I don't understand why I would want colors, that's silly, debug is the one that we were just on, if I go down to monospace, oh, it's okay, not exciting about, not, not too excited about that one, what else they got, build info, loading screen, ooh, I like that font, that's pretty cool. Let's see. I'm not going to go through all the fonts. That's not what this video is about, but I just kind of was thinking these look pretty cool. Error message box. Okay. <laughs> all right. What else? Let's see if anything else showed up. I know that there's some new stuff that I haven't even played with yet. Um, custom data. What? Assembler custom data? Oh, so many things to fiddle with. I'm going to have to do so much research, and I'm going to love every minute of it, because that's what I do. 
Right, let's see what uh, the jump drive has on it. Eh, it looks pretty much the same. Um, all right. I I have almost intentionally avoided almost any videos about these new blocks. See, there's another custom data show and uh, shows an editor for custom data to be used by scripts and mods. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. So they can store their own stuff in here. Okay, I was reading about one of the scripts. Um, I think it's the automatic configurable LCD script, the one that does all these things, that and this over here, that there's a new version that uses that custom data. Um, yeah, there we go. It will actually use the custom data to store things because the thing is, things like, you know, these LCDs and, and the Tim scripts and all that, they haven't had anywhere to store stuff like, for example, the configuration for, um, for this. So if I go to, uh, whoa, oh, they completely removed the whole public and private text thing. Because there used to be public text and private text, right? So if I hit edit text, it's this. Um, how does this script know? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's still changing. So the data is still there. That's not going to be changing because we're not doing anything. Um, we're ch Okay, so this is actually churning through gold. So we should see that drop. And then, of course, these are constantly changing. But um, but they normally store, so the automatic configurable LCDs normally stores all their stuff in side of, hmm. So it's not in here because that's the actual text to display it. You'd think it would be in here, but it's not. Interesting, but it's just kind of gone. Oh, this is going to be interesting. How would I even change this? I'd have to go get the new script is what I'd have to do, but that's okay. We can grab the new script. And since it's now stable, and I mean, this literally happened an hour ago, so we're going to have some, we're going to have some time of figuring things out. Um, obviously, a lot of mod authors are going to have to make some changes. And unfortunately there's going to be some mods that are going to be purple for a very long time ooh sorry i'm just getting totally <sighs> um oh no 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 oh jeez <laughs> when you're traveling at 100 meters per second don't turn off your inertial dampeners it's a bad idea all right respawning in the trailer you can turn them off as long as you don't get up oh don't no where's the okay oh there it is okay good see this is what happened on the last episode all right well i'm gonna fiddle with a whole bunch of stuff i'm not gonna have time to put out an episode my regular friday episode uh there's just a bunch of stuff that's been happening and I'm it's just it's not gonna happen <laughs> oh wait a minute hang on sorry there is another thing I have to try and I don't even know how to do it um hopefully they added it in here there's a thing about oh wait a minute no 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 um there's now these mag boots right that's what I've heard about anyway they're supposed to be okay hang on inertial dampeners on Jetpack. Nope. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I don't want it on right. Um, if I turn my jetpack on. Yeah, okay, so my inertial dampeners are. They're supposed to be some. Oh, no, no, no. That's right. The mag boots only work when there's no gravity. Okay, hang on. I'm going to turn off the gravity generator because I have to see this work. Gravity generator off. Oh, jeez. No. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. I know what I did wrong there. That that was that was a known that was a known idiocy. Okay. Respawn. 
Um, my inertial dampeners, I turned my inertial dampeners off again. Luckily, I didn't actually have anything on me. So if I turn my jetpack on and get near any wall or floor and then turn it off, now my... So I think, yeah, see how my boots are green? Yeah, we're actually using mag locks. This is something that I asked for in... Ooh, ooh, it's a little bit weird. But the cool thing is, I believe you can... Hang on. So you turn your jetpack on, and then you kind of have to get situated near a wall. I saw something about this, okay? And then you turn your jetpack off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Spider walk. Okay, it's a little bit goofy to get from one to the other. So if I... There we go. So now, in theory, I should be able to... I got See, you can't rotate. Ah, they've got to fix that. Okay. So if I turn around this way, and then turn my jetpack off, I should be able to walk on this. Hang on, maybe if I get a little closer? Yeah, I can walk on the ceiling. Cool. <laughs> All right, look at that. That's neat. Okay, that's enough of this. So like I said, I'm not going to have time to put out an episode tomorrow. Um, but the good news about it is part of the time that I'm going to be, <laughs> um, that I've lost recently, has to do with a new project. It's a surprise. Keep an eye on Twitter. By the way, I've actually reactivated my Twitter account. And I'm going to try and, I'll, I'll definitely have a link in the, in, in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit of a short video today just to show off the new uh, update and to let you know to keep an eye on Twitter if uh, if you want regular updates. Um, obviously, you're still gonna get your YouTube updates when I upload a video and that kind of thing, but additional stuff I'm gonna put on, on Twitter. And um, as well as, um, yeah, there's a new thing coming out and I'll be announcing it on, U on Twitter first, but then of course, when the video goes live, it'll show up on YouTube. But until then, it's a secret. All right. As always, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.